Here are some tips to help you make your keynote or PowerPoint presentation. First, make your slides using Guy Kawasaki's 10-20-30 rule. Make sure you've watched the video that is in this unit. Answer the following questions in your slides. Which element do you think you have had the most training or explanation about? Who or what have you gained this knowledge from? What element do you think is the most important information that teens need to understand? What is the best way that teens could get this information? Adding animations to your slides will create extra visual appeal. Next, you need to record your slideshow in Keynote. To do that, you can go to the top play menu and then go down and click record slideshow. After you do that, you will see a screen like this. The red button in the bottom left corner will start your animation. Make sure you're on your first slide before you start to record so that you'll go through your presentation in order. When you are happy with your recording, you will need to export it with a QuickTime export. Go up to the file menu, down to export to, and choose QuickTime. Once you've clicked on that, you will see a window that looks like this. Make sure QuickTime is selected, that your playback is the slideshow recording, and you can choose 720p, which will give you really good resolution. Then click Next. The last step is to add a name for your assignment. So you can put your name in, call it Unit 2 Assignment, which is what it's for, and then save it. It's good to uh, put underscores in wherever you have spaces in between words, because you're submitting this into a program that's on a server, and server reads spaces differently than it does in different programs. So it's always nice to have it as a continuous thing with no spaces in between. When you're done typing in your name, hit export, and then you are just finished, and you can hand in your project.